Hello again, I'm Wendy and this is Summer Bay Studio. Today I'm going to be working in this little travel journal glue book that I've been just working away at doing pages and I'm having so much fun with it. I really encourage you to try something like this. The fact that it's a travel journal means that it's small so you don't have to do like big pages or anything like that. I want to start with with a page of paper and I'm going to use music and this is from an old hymn book. And so what I'm going to do here is just cut out a page. Hopefully I don't get too many more than one. And I think I'm going to tear it in half and do something similar to what I did on that other this on this page which is painted in the background and then that's on top. So I'm going to use that. And I am going to use, I'm going to use one of these brushes and I think I'm just going to use up my paint. So I think I'll start over here. Oh, too much water. This is a new iridescent paint that I got. It's some Art Alchemy Metallic, Metallic. Gorgeous stuff. And I had just a little bit of it mixed in here with some white, which went all lumpy. So I'm not going to do much with that. But I'm just going to use up this paint as far as it goes. And and then just cover the rest with that um, paper. And I've got, um, it's it's not very wet here which means it goes on dry brush. See how it streaks over top of the paper like that? That's called dry brush. And sometimes you want that and sometimes you don't. I'm, I'm, I'm not so much wanting it right now. But I also don't want to put a lot of water on this paper because it's, it's not a watercolor paper. It's not meant for, for, for water. And it degrades if you put too much on it. Now this has obviously no rhyme or reason. I don't have a color theme in mind. I just have lots of paint to use up and I really hate to see it go to waste. So I'm just gonna, you know, slap it on here and see what turns out. Now the thing about acrylics, this, these are artist acrylics so they're a little bit thicker and have more um, more pigment in them than the craft acrylics like like these ones but this works really well in fact probably even a little bit better than this because it's not as thick and you can just kind of paint it on and away you go so I'm, I should come back and actually fill in more of the other page because I haven't decided where I'm going to put that music and who knows what the end result will look like. And I still have paint, so I might as well keep painting. There's something very satisfying about painting, I think. It's like you start with, with nothing, and suddenly you've got a whole look. It's looking a little bit muddy. That's what happens when you mix, mix green and pink. But I might cover that up anyway, so it's not really a problem. I'm just going to get in the crease here. So that will do, and I've used up pretty much all my paint except for this little bit of yellow, which I might as well throw on somewhere. See how the, the paper is rippling? That's from the moisture, because paper will always, will always buckle when it gets wet, unless it's really thick. And I think I'll leave it at that. I don't want to muck around too much, otherwise it just looks messy. Okay so our paint is all dry now and I'm just going to choose some things to put on here. Um, like I mentioned I thought I would put some some of this paper on so let's just tear some of it and see where it goes. I think that's well it's a perfect fit. I don't think I want all of it though. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to start with the glue I can find, which is this one. 
get that messy bit off there. Hope that it's not clogged up. I love the the words of these old hymns. Not all of them. Some of them are a little wacky, but um, they were written by people who really love the Lord. And I'm one of those. All right, let's see. The trick is picking these things up without getting glue all over myself. And I think we have success here. I like this straight edge, and I'm going to put it right along this edge. And the other one right along the top. I like that message too. And I think this one will go down in the bottom corner here where the paint got kind of muddy looking. And that'll probably be all unless unless the mood strikes me that I want more. So that can go right down there. Like that. Wow, that's that's cool just like that. Okay, let's find some ephemera to put in here. I have no color theme in mind. Um, I think maybe maybe we'll do sort of a flower theme. What about that? So with that in mind, let's get out a bunch of these. And just see what I have here. Oh, this is pretty. I might put that there. That would work. This rose is pretty, but it's really blurry. So I don't want that. Um, I think that kind of clashes. So we're not doing, not doing that one. I think I'll stay away from red. Really red, red. That one might work. That one might work. Get that one, mm, maybe. That is brilliant. These big poppies. Oh, I like the white rose. That's pretty too. And this. So if I have Keep that one as well. <clears throat> now with this one, I'd like to get rid of this this white in here, and I'll have to do that with a knife because it just stands out so much as white. Unless, wait a minute, unless I were to put it over here where it wouldn't show so much. Actually, I think I'll do that. I like it over there, but I don't want to go to the extra work. And sometimes when you cut things so so thinly, it just doesn't work. They're really hard to handle and glue in and all that sort of thing. Oh, I don't think I want that one either. I want one of these big poppies up here. Oh, it's the same one. I guess I printed it twice. Yeah, I like that very much. And do I like this? I'm undecided on that. And let's see what else we might come across. Now I have, I have all these. Let's just throw this up here. All these leaves and cherries and things. That one's nice. Oh, come on. I don't think I want blue. Some of these have curled and are coming, are sticking to each other. And there's these ones, which are from a different bunch. So I think. 
that one might work. I don't think I want the other colors because they're they're kind of um, kind of duller colors, and I've got such a bright background. That one might work. Oh, hold on. I like that one. Not not these ones so much, but that one does work. And see, the thing is about about a glue book. It's not just it doesn't have to be just paper and glue. It can be stickers and stamps and a host of things. It's just whatever you want because essentially it's a scrapbook. Like if you ever had a scrapbook when you were a child, which, you know, some some do, some don't, that you just put in things that you like or that you want to remember. That's pretty with the I think it's a little bit too dull, maybe. I like these stamp ones. Anyway, um, as I was saying, you can put anything in it that you want to. And you should. There's a few to choose from, anyway. Just kind of keep into the theme. I'll keep this yellow one out just in case I change my mind about it. All right, I think the problem is with just putting stuff down is that sometimes you, you go, oh, I wish I'd put that one underneath. That's why I plan a little bit first because that's happened to me where I go, oh, crap, I should have put that one somewhere else. I've got tiny ones here too. I kind of forgotten about those. They probably come in handy. There's a nice green one. That's probably enough to choose from. I could get out more and more and more and more, but I'm not going to. I quite like this little bit here. So I'm going to put it down right now just to get the ball rolling. Oh yeah, and these things are so hard to get off their backing. So you kind of have to just run your thumb over the edge and hope it catches the sticky part. Try and make this straight. I've had trouble this week with making things straight. That looks pretty good. That looks very pretty actually. Now. I may or may not use some of these other ones. But the question in my mind now is do I want this to be on top or I think I'll put that like that because then this will be on top and I think it's so dazzling that I want that to happen. Oh, wait, I'm doing this backwards. My little edge here. Of course, when you pull them off the backing, they curl up and stick to your fingers and all that kind of stuff. So, just pop that on there like that. That's the start. I'm not sure about the cherries or this one. We'll get to it. All right, let's just put some glue on this one. Put it down in that spot. And just it'll be like the focal point of the whole thing. So we have had a wild rainy weather here. Uh, thunder and lightning yesterday around supper time or just after supper time. It just rumbled over. It was very cool. And then about 11 o'clock at night, the sky opened up and it just pounded down. I was actually just about just about to turn off my light and go to sleep. And lo and behold, wow. This is going to be really pretty with the flowers. So I think I'm just going to keep gluing things down and then fill in spaces with with little things as needed. This one it has lots of little 
little divots and bumps and everything because I cut it with my Cricut machine. And so this is what I mean about these little skinny um, stems and whatnot. However, I got glue on them and that's the main thing. Wipe it off my little board here so that it's not, not all covered with stuff. It's kind of inevitable, I think, that it will be, but I don't want to hurry it. All right, let's see what else I can find here. You know what would be nice would be to put a bird in here somewhere. I wonder if I have a bird that goes with the color scheme. I have a nice, um, looks like a canary. I think it's a bit too gold. No, it's a goldfinch. That's what I'm thinking. And here's yeah, I like that one. Even though it's kind of a grumpy looking hummingbird. Here I'm back with that problem with the white again, if I leave that there. And most of this stuff is quite big. I still have to sort out some small things, but uh, I think I think for now that's probably it, except for these little units. So I think I'm going to get these out right now. So you know what I'm going to do with this, because I like this kind of configuration. I am going to cut this out and I'll need something to glue it on, which I'll grab in a minute. But I have this nice sharp little knife. I'm not going to do it too precisely because it's too hard to do. And this little knife, another dollar store find. It's amazing what you can get. All right, I'm going to use this page. I'm using this new glue stick called Glue, G-L-O-O, -O, that is from Japan. And it's um, supposed to be a little less wet than some of the others and hopefully stick a little bit better. So I'm going to use it on this piece because there's so many little little odds and ends sticking out. And hopefully we'll get it to stick down well. This is a very cool little lid too. You can just pop it in there like that. Now I better move my bird. And then this can go right here, this little vine of sweet peas, which is so cute. And then we'll put our grumpy looking hummingbird. This is from um, Edith Holden's book, A Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. So, oops, that's a little too high. His wing is right off. There, I think that works. Okay, now let's make sure everything's kind of stuck down here. Things do tend to pop up if you don't really press them in. I think I should probably close my blinds. Although I'm going to get a streak across there from the blind, so I apologize for that. I had to take a break because my... Now, I want to put some... I don't want this to just be solid, solid flowers necessarily. And I don't want that because it's too much like that. That's more solid flowers. So let's get some of these and see what we can see. That kind of works there, doesn't it? Yeah, um, wait a minute. I have another idea. I'm just going to get this and see what I can find in here. And there's a likely subject. That one is too. And there's some more sweet peas, but I don't want to overdo it. There's some poppies, but the colors, not really what I want. There's some swallows, but I think one bird is enough. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. 
There's so many cute little pieces here. That's kind of nice, and it's, you know, it's a little bit of a diversion from just all flowers. So is that, though it might be a little bit big. What's this one? Oh, that's nice. Okay, well, let's try these little bits and see if they find a place. Um, I was thinking this one right there and then I think that would be too much um, that kind of works but mm, I'm not, I don't think so and then there's this girl I don't think I like this red here. It's um, it's all wrong because there's too much pink. But that looks good. I think I'll do that. But first, I'll pop a hole in it. And I think I'll distress this one with pink. which I think will kind of tie it in with everything else. I'm trying to get faster at doing this. I watch some, some people's videos and they're just like whipping this stuff on. All right, let's move you guys a little bit. Now this has glue on it. However, this is not going to be a problem. I'm going to put her on with this glue. I'll go collect a little bit of that other glue. Don't need that. And she can go right here. And then this little green one. I'll put down there. I love these little tags, like these little labels, because they fill in all kinds of spaces that you don't always know what to do with. And with the glue book, like part of my goal here is to just fill it up as much as possible. There. Oh, this one's not glued down. Well, I think that'll work right there, so let's just go for it. Wait a minute. What's this? Is that going to be overkill? I think so. Don't need that one there. Put it on the other side, maybe. And I don't remember where this one came from, but the paper is quite, um, quite a bit stiffer. It's not quite cardstock, but... A mess, doesn't it? I've got glue on this little stamp thing, which I don't want. Okay, um, let's put this one down and then decide what else can go on this page. I, I really like the music showing, so I'll see if I can. And I love this message, he included me. Thank you, Jesus. This looks really nice here because of the greens. Look how the greens go together. Okay, now we've got some repetition here. Jesus included me comes up several times. So I might want to cover some of that up. Not with that, though. And with something tiny. How about wonderful day right there that's perfect just perfect sometimes things just work out okay you could probably tell that a cloud has gone over because suddenly it's dark let's see if I can put a little more light in here 
since we don't have the sun now. Right across there and wipe off that glue. And what else should I put in here? I feel like it needs something round or maybe a butterfly. That's not bad. Let's see. Here's a little watering can. That would work. There's a flower. Here's a cup of tea. And that one. That's pretty cute. All right, let's try some of these. Butterfly looks good. It goes with the colors well. This one, no, not so much. How about that? Um, it's a little busy. And then the tea. I just don't happen to like it there. What else did I get? This teacup. Mm, it kind of works. And then this little watering can. I think also might be too busy. There's really nowhere else it can go. And I do like it better than this. But we have this pink flower as well. I think that one works better. Because um, it's different. And then, I'm not sure where that can go without covering too much up. I don't want that covered up. That might work. Yeah, I think that does work actually. But let's put this down because I think, I think it'll be fine. I think I put too much glue on this. Just going to wipe a little bit off because otherwise it'll go squirting out all over the place. That's cute. And this little tiny bird. See what I mean? Just wipe that off there. And then I want, um, I think I want, let me see. Look, here's a tiny clock. And there's number 34. One of these will work. Like a little butterfly. Okay, I like that idea. This one can go back in there. This one it's going to go in here somewhere. It's hard to hold on to. It's so little. And I need my tweezers to pick it up. Now, which way is up? Okay, this way. All right, there's that little clock. And I want a little butterfly. That pink one or the blue one. I think it has to be the pink one. Right there. Now, should I put something up here? Perhaps, hey? Eh? Maybe a little thing like January? No, not so much. What about brown? It's too big. That's too big. So I have to get these ones out again. All right, there's some tiny ones to consider. 50 bulbs, 25 cents. That's kind of appropriate because it's about flowers bulbs 25 cents it's 
I don't know what that's supposed to represent, but but I kind of like it anyway. However, I think this side then needs something as well. Sometimes the tiny pieces take the longest. I think I'll just do it that way. Use up these little things. Um, I will put a link for this collection, these ones, down below. Very reasonable. And once you've downloaded it, you can print as many as you want. feel like we're almost finished but could use a little tiny thing up there I think this butterfly works there what do you think of that now I have a little mess to clean up but there's another beautiful set of pages in my travel journal glue book. I hope that this has inspired you to try something like this yourself because it's I'm really really enjoying it and I think you might too. So before you go please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you get notified when I have new videos and click the like button too that little thumbs up daily because that helps people know that more people liked it. And also, it would be lovely if you would leave a comment and let me know what you liked or what you like to see or just anything. And I'll see you next time.